Chief just clutching it out though. It looks like we will see the return of Joe Mama versus Quilly here. Probably see some yep. hero banjo. Hero banjo here, Joe Mama Quilly. Quilly, of course, being my brother. Of course, he taught me the game and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how many times he SDs this set. Both characters here revealed in the same Smash Direct, by the way. Oh, interesting. Fun fact. Made to face off here. Quilly has been really feeling the banjo lately, so probably not going to see any switch off that, honestly. Uh, yeah, probably not against Hero. I don't know which other one of his characters would do better. Maybe Junior? I don't know. Most juniors seem to think they do well against swords, and Hero kind of counts as a sword character, but... Characters have, players having fun with their stage striking. Yep. Looks like we've decided on Battlefield, the music being picked as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> elevator cam. Shout out to the elevator camera all the way up there. Hello, hello. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Let's go. If you want to see more cool action like that, make sure to come down to St. Louis Science Center in the future. And for those just joining us, this is Loser's seventh side of top eight at the STL Arcadian. We got former number one Quilly here. Number one on the first Smash Ultimate PR. Yep, coming back in full force at the Arcadian. Quilly, a player who is good enough to be power ranked, but he just doesn't go to anything. So he doesn't ever meet the requirement. However, we're gonna get into game one in Battlefield here. Gonna be Banjo versus Hero, just like we expected. Sticking with the Banjo, yep. Rocking the 156 tag. I believe that's Quillava. Pokemon. Yeah. Billy's namesake. I believe we got inspiration for his name from there. But, uh, Mama just kind of zooming around. He's got the bounce, so Billy kind of content to not do anything at this moment. Yeah, Ban a lot of Banjo's game plan revolves around this projectile play. So if Joe Mama's just going to have like bounce here, then Quilly doesn't really feel the need to interact. Trying to catch the air dodge with the S smash. Had the right idea. Mama trying to spot dodge through the multi hits and jab there, not going to yeah. work out for him. For ledge scenarios, though, I think I'd like to see Quilly use maybe down tilt just because of like the lingering potential. But overall, it seems like he's like in the driver's seat so far. But Joe Mama responding accordingly. Quilly doing a good job at making use of the Wonder Wing whenever Joe Mama's got the spell book out. It forces him to commit the option there, and yep. he can't just cast a spell through Wonder Wing. Yeah, for sure. Going to get the double up tilt, securing the first stock of the set. Mama, however, going to respond to Psych Up. Ooh. And that's going to break the shield, ladies and gentlemen. And the crit, too. Cloud popping off for that. Everyone loves seeing Hero Jank. We already know. And Kaboom going to beat out every option but shield there. And Accelerado, obviously, going to give Hero super crazy stats. See a crit? No, but it's no fully crit, charged. But it's almost kills enough to anyway. do it. Yep. Oh, oh wow. Good Wonder Wing challenge too. Quilly like responding accordingly. Quilly doing all he can to just yep. negate Hero right now. Let's see how he can land. Here. Going for a taunt just randomly. Oh, okay. Oh. Hero with the responding uh, taunt. I was thought it was a spell for a yeah, second. I didn't know too. what he was doing. But I was like, I've never seen that. Yeah. What's Unless the purple one do? Is that, a <laughs> is that a third power up? But uh. Nope. Only a mental power up, right? Both players taunting, trying to you know get get under each other's skin, looking for any advantage they could possibly get. For sure. Really doing empty Wonder oh. Wing bait into a down smash on the approach. Yeah, actually super creative by Quilly. Remember Jamama just pressuring the corner right now, opting to you know play the dash game, maybe looking for I don't know, I'm gonna say an up tilt here. Quilly waiting out these buffs, not wanting to interact while they're active. Just as we say that, Jamama gets another buff. Yeah. Quilly in the back air forward tilt, like just taking whatever damage he can get. That forward air will get the kill, so he's obviously going to go for it. However, Jamama's got the oomph in hand. Oof is super scary here because not only will it kill you if it hits you, but it also can kill you with grab. And if he gets Psych Up going online, that's how we saw Quilly's shield break before. Oh, trying to get the buffed F tilt that will break full shields. And as Hero. As told me earlier, 
Hero having a higher chance to get zoom whenever he's out in the blast zone like that, which is why we see Joe Mama getting it so often. Wonder Wing is going to go right through the spell option there, but getting a good platform chase up smash. That was crit with Rage. Who knows, it might have killed. Maybe not with how heavy Banjo is, but ooh, the startup of Wonder Wing losing yep. two snooze. Once again, clearly catching Joe Mama slipping with the spells. Wonder Wing proving to be a really good spell counter, except for that one snooze time. Gotta imagine he was just a little too late on that. Yeah, yeah. But one of the hardest things to deal with when you're using Wonder Wing is getting caught, like caught in the startup of it. Then you still lose that use, though. It feels bad. Yeah, really actually canceling the startup right there, getting a ledge trap scenario. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna do a run up forward smash. Joe Mama trying to read a spot dodge gets a gets another option anyway, and it works out for him. He's gonna take this first game here. Yeah, let's see, once again, yeah. Like the crit on the shield right there, just does so much shield damage, right? Yeah, the spot dodge down smash was coming yep. through, so since Joe Mama had that run up, you know, grab before, clearly spot dodged it, same thing happening. We'll, we'll see how the adaptation comes. I know Quilly has a bunch of characters in the pocket, but I think he elected to just stay Banjo, so we'll see if that remains true. We will see. One. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's gonna remain true. The banjo coming out. You know, and take it to town. One of Hero's better stages. Don't know. Quilly just prefers the stage as well. I think it could be a good banjo stage too with the platforms. The mama going for the up smash call out. He got that twice last game. Okay, so it's kind of like just a standstill right now. And I think actually the hard part about this matchup for Banjo in particular is that Hero loves standstill sets. Where it's like if he gets bounced, you can't really challenge him with your projectile setup. So he'll just farm for buffs, but that's exactly what Hero wants to do. Yeah, Quilly's giving him a little too much space sometimes, enabling these. But on the smaller stage of Battlefield, he was able to contest with the Wonder Wing. But I think choosing a bigger stage like this, he gives that option up. Yeah, and actually there, not going to get the wind punish for getting yep. the forward air. So now we're going to opt to go high. Oops. Going to try to go for pre gun up tilt. Unfortunately, he's not going to get it. But now this bounce from Joe Mama, he doesn't really have to care about grenade or egg anymore, which is tough. <laughs> Quilly actually getting the call out, but Joe Mama air dodge and bolt would dodge through it. Getting the background, the bowl there. I wonder if that was buffered or not. Joe Mama throwing out some taunts. Quilly wonder winging into the yeah. blast zone, coming right back. Now, Probably wanted a grenade, grenade yeah. B reverse. The unfortunate misinput right there. Yeah. The bane of banjos. Yeah, real. for sure. And that S smash might do it. Whoop, nearly avoids the whack. Stop. Yep, try, try oh, doing try a good job rolling away from here. that. Cannot grab Banjo Fair. That is like minus eight ish, I think. Yeah, it's definitely like um, it's safe. Pretty, pretty safe on shield. It's about as safe as Ganon's, <laughs> which is surprisingly okay. safe. But. However, that that forward air is gonna do it. Let's see how Quilly can respond to it. Joe Mama. Making quick work of this game so far, making Quilly's counter pick more in his favor. As I said at the start yep. of the game, this is a this is a hero stage. Joe Mama proving that now. Bring it the down throw. That should be the stock. Yep, 150 is a little bit too high to mash out of. Side B is going to do some damage. Definitely one of Hero's best poking tools. Joe Mama using the shield, crouching below the eggs. Yep, saying I can bounce these projectiles away from me even when I don't have bounce. Get the grenade forward air, one of Banjo's most damaging combos. Quilly kind of being more choosy about his approach options here. Yep. Not giving Joe Mama as much space as he was previously, but Joe Mama's still able to get these buffs out. He's got the psych up right now in the corner. Opting to do jump back fair. Ooh, getting the grenade and a Wonder Wing. Quilly showing some signs of life in this game. This last thought going to be, I believe, a big indicator for how the rest of this set will go. Lava was up three stocks to one, but Quilly slowly chipping his back. Avoids the buff oh, F smash there. Right there, utilizing the multi hits of down air to mix up shield pressure. However, Joe Mama keeps getting these bounces, but Wonder Wing doesn't care. Mama still running away from the grenade despite having bounce. Yep, really avoiding the Sizz. Gotta be careful because Hero with Accelerado is super fast. 
Jovan was kind of pulling up the spell wheel to try to, you know, bait Quilly to approach, try to get it, get him in whatever he can. Well, he's got two more Wonder Wings left after yeah. losing that one. Probably wanted another B reverse grenade. Such a hard input for no reason. Yeah, for sure. Mama starting to find himself yep. in a corner, but knocks Quilly off the stage with his big percent lead. Using the Wonder Wing to go straight through the snooze. That's what he wanted to do the previous game, but. Yep. Trying to call out a roll from Jomama. Jomama's not going to give it to him, though. Quilly's only got one Wonder Wing left in this game here. Quilly's often disengaged entirely, getting the bounce. Both players just kind of. Oh, the jump air dodge. It's a bit of spaghetti. Some spaghetti for sure. Getting the Wonder Wing. Jomama just kind of opting to prioritize the spell. But that Accelerado is going to help him get back. Let's see if he can take the game from this. He can get the spot dodge up tilt, but it won't kill. Jamal is a lot more comfortable Sizz in this game it. now without any Wonder Wings interrupting the spell book. And Quilly up bringing into the, into the, into whack. the whack. Not grabbing the ledge, going too high. Such an unfortunate ending right there. But Quilly showing signs of life with Banjo right there. The one thing Quilly can be happy about is at least he is at a high percent. Yeah, so yeah, that 170 right, something. right there is pretty much guaranteed like, to kill you every yeah. day of the week. It's, it's a much better feeling than mm -hmm. being, you know, yeah. sub 100. Sub 100 never feels good, but I feel like the big thing for Quilly here, if he can stay mentally composed, he can definitely pull this off, but Hero is a character that is very good at snowballing, especially if you're, like, mentally tuned out of it. So we'll have to see how this game three goes. Quilly running it straight back to game three, or straight back to town and city, my bad. I mean, it is game three. Jamama up 2-0 right now. Trying, to, to, bear, trying to continue his way through top eight. Jamama doing a good job at getting these platform tech chases. Really jumping right past the snooze there. Okay. We got Cyber from Jamama just opting to play it safe, you know. Treat back in the forward air, though. However, gonna try to, I believe, send the upbeat to Quilly. Tornado not lasting long enough to hit Quilly on his way up. Yeah. Grenade Lacking the grenade there. The yeah. grenade is gone. So right now, Hero kind of having to be the one to approach for once, if you'll notice, because he has low MP, so he can't really, you know, zone like he normally wants to. Quilly not falling for the whack this time, <laughs> but that forward tilt's gonna put Quilly close to the blast zone than he'd probably like to be. Really good shield there to not get hit by the side view, though. One of Hero's premier poke tools, which also becomes a killing tool later in the percent, especially that close on top. Well, he's got the psych up now. Next hit might kill Quilly. Is psych up the one that's infinite? Uh, I'm not sure. Or is, I don't know, one of them lasts until you do something, but the other has like a timer. Yep, and the up air is that actually going to do it. That is so. the one. Yeah, that is the one that will last until you act, giving like all of his moves kill power. I just kind of bunch them together, like, oh, he's red, he's scary, but... Yep, I'm going to get the up air at disadvantage. Remember, Jomama's going to get the forward air to the side be started. Jomama doing a great job dodge. of covering these spot dodges. Yeah, for sure. Doing it all set long, narrowly missing the whiff Wonder Wing there. <laughs> I, I think the animation for doing the... Yeah, getting the double up tilt. The animation for doing the oomph made him low profile the grenade toss. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, wow. I didn't even know it was a thing myself. Yeah, see if he, he like crouches down to power up, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of reminiscent of like Dragon Ball, if you will. However, the ice is going to stop the crit from mattering. This is kind of Quilly's second chance at life right here. Not going to die to that. Right now, it's all like the most important thing is just keeping the stock. However, Quilly's not going to 